We left off our study yesterday right in the middle of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, talking about the gifted men that the Lord has given to the church. He's gifted them with certain abilities for the body of Christ, and he's given them to the church to fulfill a function. Uh, two of those offices were apostles and prophets that we believe have, have faded from the scene once their job was done. Their job was to lay a foundation for the church, as we see in 2.20, and they did that through the revelation that God gave them. And then there was the evangelists, who are not just people that are good at giving the gospel and drawing people to Christ. I, I do think that is probably part of it. But there are also people that are church planters, people that went throughout the first century world and planted churches that uh, would become the local churches in various communities. And I think we still have, obviously, church planters today, men who have a, a special ability to start a church and get a church off the ground. They're not always the same people that ought to pastor a church later, but they're people that get a church going. And that leads then to the next two offices that we find in our text who are pastors and teachers. There is a uh, perhaps a debate, uh, some disagreement as to whether this is one office or two. Some have said from the Greek construction that this is one office, pastor slash teacher. Others say, well, the Greek is not that clear. And it seems like it's very likely that this is actually two different offices. For many years, I held to the first view. But having studied it more deeply in recent times, I believe that probably the second view is best. He's talking about two different offices, uh, two different kinds of gifted men, pastors and teachers. Uh, all pastors are teachers, but not all teachers are pastors. I think that's a good way to say it. Uh, pastors, the, the word is often translated shepherd, and you'll find that in some translations and in other passages of Scripture. And that describes well what a pastor should do. A pastor shepherds the sheep that God has placed under him. He protects them theologically. He cares for them. He guides them. He loves them. He feeds them the word, which comes into play with the word teacher. So the pastors have been given to the church. So we have evangelists starting churches, pastors who are ministering to the sheep within the church. Teachers are those who obviously teach the word of God. They teach theology. They teach scripture. And many of these teachers are not necessarily pastors, but they're fulfilling a function that pastors must fulfill, which is that of feeding the sheep. So these are the five different offices that are given to the church. So what are they to do? Verse 12, for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ. Uh, the, the key word here is equipping. Their job is to equip the saints for the work of service. The word equip uh, has uh, more than one connotation in the, in the New Testament, gives it a very rich meaning. It can mean on the negative side to repair. And it's found in the Gospels for those who are repairing nets that have been broken. You can't catch many fish if you have holes in your nets. And so to, to mend a net was the word equip. So that's the, that's the negative side. One of the tasks of the pastors and teachers is to take people who, who have these holes in their lives, their holes in their thinking, their understanding of life, the worldview, uh, the darkness that they have naturally as unsaved people, and as they come to Christ to, to mend those nets so that they understand the truth of God's Word. On a positive side, the word can also mean to train. So like a good coach, they train somebody to fulfill a task. And so they, we are to, to equip both to uh, mend the nets and also at the same time to, to train people for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ. So the task here, as people are equipped, uh, they are equipped to do something, and that is the work of service to the body of Christ. The only other thing I'd like to say, though, before we move any further into that, is how is it that the pastor teacher is to equip the saints? And this is important because we find in the New Testament that we're to do that through one particular means, and that is the teaching of God's Word. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, for example, in this wonderful passage about Scripture, it says in verse 16, For all Scripture is inspired by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. And so we equip people for every good work through the 
scriptures, through the, the teaching of the Word of God. That's how people are trained to walk with the Lord. And so the equipping ministry of the pastors and teachers is through the means of teaching and instruction and ap- applying the Word of God to their lives. And that's how God changes people and makes them into people that are useful to His work and service. We'll pick up on that next time. So we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great day in the Lord.